for the Capricorns. It's time for your reading for the beginning of July to the middle of it, this current year. How are you all doing today? Hopefully good. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a Thunderdome, but we're having to lay out differently this time. But same difference, right? The one with your side. This will be your person you're dealing with side. Cross watchers and the ilk. Um, things can be switched, so like don't solidify. But for me, this is like the side and side. And then the middle will be what will happen if y'all approach each other. All right? So Capricorns, we're going to start with you, of course. Let's see what's going on with you. Oh, you're just not even fighting anything. It's just like whatever they're sending to your side, you're just like, I don't even care. Just go ahead and hit me with it. Just hit me with a bus. Shoot me. End it all. Uh, because it's a tower moment. It's like the illusion's coming out. What? Okay. So you're not fighting an illusion that these people are casting. You're not fighting the tower falling. Because something didn't come together the way it was supposed to. Let's see. And some, yeah, something didn't end right, so something didn't begin. Like, you're not fighting the tower at all. You're just be like, uh, you know what, things didn't go the way it was supposed to, so let's see how it ends up. Yeah, bad investments involved with it, too. Like, it's like you just re now recognize that, like, putting a flower in the desert is kind of silly considering it's a desert and not a lot of water's there. Now it's like you're moving on to calmer waters afterwards because it's just been like, ah, didn't work out. We've got a few more cards. Um, yeah, trying to keep yourself nice and gentle. Now there is something towards the future you're looking at, but it's like, ah. I'd rather just end the fighting. There's actually a lot of cards. <laughs> I was actually kind of surprised, but that's cool. Let's see what your person's dealing with, Capricorn. It's like, and there's something you're not fighting, and that's what's causing the tower to come down. Um, you're just there to witness it. This person right here is looking for where the fuck you are. <laughs> They're like sitting down on the window just being like, where is he? Where is is? Where be he? Why aren't they home yet? Like they have an idea of where you've gone, but they don't know where you went to or they were looking for you at some point. Um... Like, they had walked, I guess they had, like, it's like there's, okay, they were looking for you, but they had walked away with the cops full anyway, so it's like, I guess they expected you to stay where you were? Like, you weren't gonna go anywhere while they took off or something? You know, while they went to be happy, <laughs> and they're going on their way just to be happy, they're just like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to be fine. I'm gonna be fine in this scenario. I'm gonna go pet my horse somewhere, and it's like, oh, they completed a cycle, right? This is reverse, so it's kind of like they completed a cycle, but the next cycle they're gonna start is gonna be the exact same shit. Not an endless loop, because it will be different, but it, it, a lot of things are gonna end up being the same. They like start over or try to do over again. One of which is where they bested somebody. It could be you, Capricorn, that they bested, but they're standing nice and proud. Or whatever. I feel like fuck this person is appropriate, but we're not done yet, so I don't know why they're... I don't know, I'm getting this feeling like they're pretty smug about their victory, and it's just like, alright, whatever, dude. You just take that victory. I don't care. Which, in reality, one would. <laughs> Um, they're keeping secrets about this, though, but now, but then, wow, okay, then it was like everybody came at them. Alright, they bested you, but they didn't realize other people would come back to them 
for a best scene on they. So everybody who I think helped them is now going after them and it's coming with quick haste and now it's like if there was like some sort of uh, peace offering like they wouldn't be able to tell the difference from it and like a bomb getting dropped on them or whatever. Two seconds. I'm getting coffee. Okay. Hmm. This person's very odd, I have to say. All right, so Capricorn, back to your row. Let's see what else is coming up for you for the beginning of July. We'll be going down for you, because I've got. I, I have this impression you're just like letting this tower fall because it's like I'm not. I I ain't gonna defend myself. I will just leave, and then the fight will end. Like they like you want to go to this person, but you still got a lot of hesitation, and then it's like. No, 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 no. I'm not even going to. You know, you're not taking a leap of faith. And you're just going with the flow of the Wheel of Fortune at this point. Like, you're just moving on ahead. Like, not taking any actions helping you actually get the wheel to move. You will have some sorrow and loss. I think you're actually kind of dealing with that a little bit right now. Nothing too significant, though. At least I don't think. Yeah, all that, like, sorrow and shit, that's just illusions. It could be a Pisces or a Cancer you're dealing with. It's like, I don't think you're really missing it as much as you will make yourself believe you will. Or what you believe it is. You feel like you might be, like, dragging secrets with you as well with the seven of swords getting away from like trying to sneak away from this person i feel like more than anything um you're tired of feeling be, of feeling left out in the cold by them like look they're they're begging you for shit but you guys don't have anything you both are equally whatever but they're still expecting more from you and it's like driving you nuts and making you depressed it's like i gotta go like, you want to be able to open up and feel again. Or you're dealing with a uh, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer in this. One. And you're more ready for things to change, for things to die. So new shit comes in. You're ready for transformation. Scorpio's death card. You're ready to put an end to all this, right? I feel like you've tried to deal with this person and like with this ace of swords with the bird it's like every time they just shut you down and that's why you're just like you know what i'm not even gonna bother like going in the tower to save anyone's life just let the bitch burn like not helpful in the least like you've only had a few cups over here this person only has like cups that are about them, I feel like. Which I don't think is a good thing. So what else is going on with this person for the beginning of July? Yeah, they have their back turned, not even trying to pay attention. Like, it's like they don't want to pay attention to you, but they're still, like, irritated enough to make storms come in, like your X-Men or whatever. Like, they're still pretty hostile. But they have their back turned, so they're not even looking your way. Um, they're working on other things with other people, honestly. But they're still, if, if they thought there was something to work out with you, they're expecting to be the one that makes the rules and you're the one who just follows the orders. And I don't think they'll turn around until they get that. They're expecting you to do all of the work. Um, but they need to go introspect. They may probably deal with a Virgo somewhere or, like, they're going introspection. But it's like... They're trying to shine a light on this situation in order to gather some information, I feel like. Because they just don't feel like they are... Okay. I feel like inside they're broke. I 
I mean, this was on the shadow side, I'd say they wouldn't know who they were, but it's just more like, since it's on the sunny side up, it's more like they don't know how they're going to... Yeah, okay. They, they, they don't know how they're going to support themselves and they want to go up to someone and be like, Daddy, can you give me some money? It's like they could go and work things out with you, but they expect you to do everything. And in the meanwhile, they're slightly um, not on the best footing when it comes financial, and they're going to somebody probably elder than them with another person to um, help them out financially, I feel like. Going to somebody else, older and wiser, who has the established pentacles, which is like... Hmm... Yeah, they, they're trying to take off somewhere different. Like, trying to be impulsive with their journeys, too. Try to, like, spread words, say action, put out their good news. But I almost feel like this is, like, a tactic. Yeah, yeah it, in order to, like, see what you do, I feel like. Like, they're too focused on what, like, it's like they want to see what they can start with you with that little ball in their hand. Like, it's a miniature world, and it's like they're more focused on their world than they are the real world. So when they look at that world, they look at what you are, and I think they're determining their actions based on what you're doing. Whatever's going on with them, right? And, they, but, they still got their back turned to whatever emotions they have, and they're still not, like, writing them with any sort of offer. Like, it's like in their head they're determined to do something and it has something to do with you and it, it, it's just kind of like yeah that's why you, that's kind of that's probably why you're watching this tower from a distance like you're not even there I don't think I think you're just gonna see something happen yeah because it was like that was like that was what was I think the last shadow judgment did for you guys you were watching somebody watching you like, that's what was going on, I think, and, like, they were so busy watching your back, they didn't realize that you had already snuck off, and, like, now you're just watching them do weird shit, and it's just kind of like, now it's, you're walking away with these secrets you know, with all these things that you know. Oh, my God. Okay. And this person doesn't even realize you've been watching. All right. What happens if you guys approach each other? I feel like you know too much Capricorn, like one of those things. Oh yeah, like you're definitely trying to get out of this shit because this person puts you in a really funky situation. Right? Like, she's got fruit on her tail and the dude's thirsty because he's got flames over here. Like, hey, can you give me a grape? They're hiding their emotions from you. And like... It's almost like walking away with that red coat to make themselves feel better. But they left a cup emotionally. Or this could be you taking the action to leave those cups even though they're full. Like you want to walk towards them, but that would mean like leaving your emotions behind. But it's also like, you know, she's not opening her cup nor giving it. She's not making the wish fulfillment. So it's like, okay. Love you. Thanks. Sexy man. Alright. Let's see what else is going on with Cap. Um, they probably have their guard up. They've been keeping their guard up from you, I think. Uh, like, on purpose. Not because of a safety thing. Uh, yeah. They're keeping their guard up because it's like one of those mental things where it's just like... I don't know. Like, oh, you're the one who did something wrong, so... That's why you walked away, and it's just kind of like, okay, bitch, you go ahead and keep... Oh, God, my phone. And they're taking... Yeah, they're taking their actions based on what they... How they've interacted with you. Um, Capricorn, it almost feels like there's a narcissist around you or some shit. Like, this person is... It, like, before I even mentioned, like, there was a person who's been watching you for a minute. I don't know why. But they're watching you and basing their actions on you. They're using that as a method to determine shit. But it's like they don't realize that um, the games they play, man. 
I mean, if they're basing their actions on you, um, mainly because of past relationships or something like that, but it's like... Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's like, um... Once they start basing their actions on you, or whatever it is they want to do, right, Cap? They start doing that, but all of a sudden it's like... Past shit comes up when they realize that, um, you're not coming back. Like, you know, Six of Pentacles, there's an adult over here walking away. They No longer children. He's walking away. This is now distant for him. This leaves this other person without a lot of options. And it makes them realize this. So what's the outcome, if you will, cards? This person knows that, like, you walking away leaves them with nothing else to do. But well, what did they expect to happen once they turned their back? Like Swift movement. Um, not to this shit, though. Like, swift action to not let this happen, I feel like, is what you're doing, Cap. Like, I think you're doing something to prevent something else to start. Because I feel like this person is, like, kind of not like not immature in the sense like they have maturity they're just deciding not to be right now you know um, you don't know what to even do with this situation and, and you know that like there's hubris in it as well um, you still like there there is an uh, uh, you felt like there was a reason to wait but this waiting is just not doing it for you. You're going to your happy ending, dude. That's what you're doing. Like, fuck it. I'm gonna go get a horse and ride it naked in my child form, right? Like, that's what you're going for. Whether this person understands that or not, I don't know, but I don't think you're gonna be dealing with them for much longer, Capricorn. Um, I think you're gonna try to find a way of possibly getting away because this person is just... It's like they don't give you what you need and they know it. And so you gotta, like, circumvent it and nip it in the bud. But, that was your reading, Capricorn. Thank you for watching my video. If you want a personal reading, my email is down below in the description box. I do not charge, but I do take donations and tips. Um, like, share, subscribe if you want to. I will see you guys on the flip side. Love your faces. Bye-bye.